flight attendants prepare for departure, cross check and all call, thank you. Good morning, good morning. I see we've got seven viewers. I'm impressed. Um, it's a weird time to stream, uh, but as it is Easter weekend, we've got it off, so we're going to use the time. Uh, I'm watching the clouds fly by here. Yeah, we're in Edinburgh again. We're going to fly to Stansted. And um, it's looking really nice. Right, just for reference, that's my settings. Uh, 
Andra, I'm not sure if you're watching, but uh, that was for, was for you, obviously. Right, yeah, let's get into this. Let's start planning and doing our things. Uncle John has just quickly gone to grab some coffee. I think I've still got a, yeah, I've got a gulp or two left here in my, um, in my cup. Uh, hello, Geert, goeiemorgen. Hello, Jet Power. Let's load this up. Hmm, there was a problem. It's another problem. How is that possible? We're going to have to go look at that. Two problems I noticed. Alright, I'm going to leave there. There's a TLA and there's a TLA, so we might as well do that. There you go, problem solved. Not sure why. We got that. Uncle John, are you back? Okay, Uncle John had an issue with his legs and uh, I'm wondering if he's not having the same problem. We better check it before we fly. What's the issue, Nicker? Uncle John, it had TLA and the legs from TLA twice. So I want you to go, can you share your screen again, please? Let's quickly do a step through on your legs page. I'm thinking you have something similar because the moment I took that out, my jumping in my magenta line stopped. Do you want me to take out, buddy? Are you watching? No, you're not sharing. Show me your screen. Then I can tell you. Right, I'm coming to join. Sharing. All right, okay, so if you start and you step through from the beginning, you're at the end now, so yeah, go back, go back. All right, start there, okay, start step on, on the step button. Go up right to step, yeah, just step through. You see you've got TLA at the very top, okay, go through, go through. Okay, you, yours don't have that, mine had TLA twice. That's strange. Very. Got, it's strange because we've both got the same yeah. um, route. Yeah. It's weird. Don't know why. Okay, no, but then you're fine. Then you should be fine. I just didn't want you to fly the DLA section twice. Roger. All right, I'm almost ready. Uh, 1.8. Almost ready, sir. If you don't have your APU running already, you can start your APU. I shall be behind you, so I'm going to push back. Okay. I'm just checking the restrictions here. I don't want to climb too fast because I know we've got restrictions here. I'm just going to go for a climb too as well. Really? 
ready for pre-flight procedure. Trim up. Mm, yeah, tower. Tower, good morning, Schematic 001 at stand 4, Bravo 738, radio check. Morning, morning William. Schematic 001, uh, readable 5. Thank you, read 5. I'm at 047, I don't see your flight plan in here, so could you just check for me if you have flight correct? <laughs> uh, you must check. Uncle John, check. Uncle John, check your numbers, your, your schematics, your ticks number. You might have missed the zero. Morning, Christer. Hello, Jerry. Right, it be you. Uh, that was Skymatic 001 uh, requesting IFR clearance to stand state. Skymatic 001, uh, IFR clearance approved to stand state as filed. Um, Depart SID uh, TLA 6 Charlie runway 24, uh, Squawk 3000. Uh, squawk 3000 of runway 24 TLA 6 Charlie Skymatic 001 and uh, for your information we have information Charlie on board. Thank you for your information Charlie. Uh, uh, Skymatic 001 uh, read that correct. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Skymatic 047, uh, clear for I for clearance to stand that as filed. Um, departure uh, TLA Charlie runway 24, uh, squawk 3367. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Command 047, cleared as, as filed. Departing runway 24 on the Tango Lima Alpha 6 Charlie, Squawk 3367. Command 047. Read back. Correct, uh, Skymatic 047. Contact me when ready for that. Uh, Tower Skymatic 001, ready for push and start. Morning, Jacob. Skymatic 001, um, you are second. So, so connected and we start now, uh, we are up to Just wait a little bit for Skymatic 047 to get up. 
Um, so, yeah, he's actually requested that I go first, so we don't mind. I can push if you're okay. Um, Skymatic 001, uh, but could you just confirm that do you have enough space to push back the... Uh, I have enough space, yeah. Okay, Skymatic 001, clear to push and start facing... Thank you, sir. Clear push and start, Skymatic 001, before start procedure. Before start procedure. Four start procedure complete. Thank you, Linda. Start number Ready two engine. Four start checklist. Starting number two engine. Five and two. Starter cut out. Start number one engine. Starting number one engine. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Disconnecting toes. Stand by. 25 and 2. Are we too early for the other gentlemen, Uncle John, the guys that usually fly with you in the mornings? Well, Kevin, don't forget, is it's Friday, it's cold. Yeah. I, yeah. I generally only fly with, with, with Kevin. Start or cut out. Uh, okay, and Lori. Engine start procedure complete. He's on his travels on his bike. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. No problem, William. Before Good taxi morning. procedure. Good morning to all. Before taxi Before procedure. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Before taxi procedure complete. I am ready for before taxi checklist. Ready for before taxi procedure. Uh, it's okay, Linda. We done, we done. Uh, Scumatic 001 ready for taxi. Skymatic 001, set cut holding point Delta 1, runway 24 via Echo Alpha Delta. Holding point Delta 1, and we'll be using Echo Alpha and Delta Skymatic 001. Skymatic 001, runway 047. Clear to follow the company plane, but uh, hold at Delta. Holding at Delta. And sir, could you possibly give us a three minute separation? We appreciate it. 
Taxi lights on. Well, if you, if I can answer you this way, in the FMC, I had no problem doing the approach. Uncle John had no problem inputting the approach and the transitions, okay? So in terms of the Zebo, it definitely works. I don't know what else to answer you at this point in time. Hi, Uncle John. Hey, Andy. What, Andy? How are you? I'm fine. I hope to. Yeah, all good, all good. It's nice to have a bit of an off day. Wow. Cabin crew, take your seats uh, for takeoff. I'm I'm uh, do, I'm testing my uh, my sound uh, device, so I don't hear any. Very, very, I mean, uh, yeah, your microphone is very powerful. Um, it's like it pushes a little bit too much volume through your microphone. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's very distorted. Mm. Morning, Kev. Um, this is other Kev, Uncle John, not our normal Kev. Um, yeah, I'm using Xenvaro now again. So, um, everything should be more lifelike. It's for takeoff procedure. Before takeoff procedure. Before takeoff procedure complete. Ready for before takeoff checklist. All right, flap set, cabin secure, light done. Here you go. Schematic zero zero one, ready for takeoff. Uh, there, runway two four. Schematic zero zero one. Runway 24, surface wind 267 degrees, 0 to the knot, Q189, 79, Let's for takeoff runway 24. Thanks for all the other information and thank you for your Up service, sir. Climatic 047, um, line up and wait behind the leaving uh, 737. On runway two, four. 22 Charlie was a temporary thing and for some reason the nav charts still have it, Navigraph still shows it. I'm not sure if it's still temporary in the real world but just you can disregard it. 22 Charlie should not be used. There, there was a whole story about it. Um, I can't remember the exact thing but it's irrelevant to us. I hope that helps. Put you a little bit more in the picture. Rotate. 
positive rate. Get up. Acceleration altitude. Deze trein. Okay, we should be in the cut back now anyway, so we'll wait it out. We have two, three height restrictions. We have to stay on altitude. We cannot go to the um, flight levels because we need to be at 6,000 foot for the remainder of the departure until we reach Tango Lima Alpha. Flaps one set. Why is it doing that? Sorry, I'm just checking. Apologies. Climatic 047. Runway 24, surface wind. Uh, no, 25. Degrees. Oh, no, 4 degrees, 0 for not, uh, And I haven't checked that assignment, there's definitely an assignment issue. Damn it! Every time I go outside it kills my autopilot. When I use that key, anyway. When I'm up at altitude, you know what you are now, Uncle John's behind me. Uncle John, remind me when I'm on the ground that we can actually fix this stupid... Uh, Unicom one to decimal eight. Thank you for your service. Goodbye. You see now, now we've busted the altitudes and everything here yeah, because of the pilot was not used correctly. Damn it! Anyway, I don't mind. It's just one of those things. Next time, um, Uncle John, I need to fix this key number eight. Okay, so I don't want to pause the sim and go hunt it now. When we're on the other side, just remind me if you can. Anybody, but if you hear, that will help. Hello, Magnus. Okay. I see you muted, but I'm just saying hello. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? All right. Yourself? Yeah, also good. Also very good, actually. Loving X environment. Telling you, this is like going into a sweet shop, shops, a sweet, sweet shop, and I'm seeing every thing that's happened. That's really cool. Yeah, it's coming together. Yeah. Um. Hello, uh, Scotsman. Um, Krister, when I press the num pad key number eight for some reason it disconnects my autopilot it takes me into that orbit view but it disconnects so somewhere i made a boo-boo and i've got a double assignment or something on that key because it's not supposed to switch off the autopilot when i go look outside Scotsman, it is the 29th day of the year of our Lord, 2024. How is that? Yeah, I must have a double assignment.
Ja, all good, Christer. Um, and Scotsman. Sorry, I mean Scotsman, actually. Um, all good, man. Just want to see if this one does it as well. Mm -mm. This is number eight. I'll go hunt it later. Must have had finger trouble when I was fiddling. Okay. Say none. Hello. Good morning. Scotsman, it's Easter weekend, so it's a public holiday today and also on Monday. And I've got work, but not urgent work, so I'm taking the day off. I'm going to just do whatever I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it, just for a change. This year, 2024, has been a freak show from day one. You know, I mean, look at how I disappeared here for many, many days. You know, after my father passed away, it was just a cherry on the cake, man. I mean, I've been working double shift almost every day now. So, um, yeah, it's just one of those things. And now that I've got a day off, I want to rest. I just want to fly a little bit. Yeah, I knew there was a story behind it, Krister. Is this Auto Ortho? This is actually Orbex True Earth, Great Britain North. Auto Ortho is underneath it, yes. I still use auto auto, but the in the layering this one's obviously now on top. Yeah, I was about to say because the, the coloring is so good in True Earth. Yeah, it's very nice. Mr. Orgai. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I spoke to him already, but um, remember we, we're on the show now, so... No, 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 no. Come on, Nico, you know better than that. I know, no. I'm just reminding you. Say none, it must be in, in the Google Drive. It must be in the Google Drive. Let me have a look. I haven't removed it from my Google Drive, so unless Zebo removed it from his Google Drive and you're looking at his one, it should be there. Let's just open all these shortcuts quickly. Oh, that anti-analyzing annoys me. Yeah. Um, say no. Right. Sorry, sorry, um, I'm talking over you. Um, Apologies. You're working on it. Uh, Are you no going to have a fix for it? 12.1.0 uh, will probably be the fix. We hope so. Um, yeah. Have you seen it? Some of it, yes. I tested it at the FS weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the next update for x will be, uh, in some ways, it looks way better than my flights in there. Mm. Uh, that'll be cool. A couple of guys will be really happy. Um, I'm just, one of them. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we, we are all, we all. But, you know, there are a couple of people that have been really furiously been complaining. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about them, you know. They're in overdrive. Okay, Senan, I'm looking at both the Google Drives and it's there. I don't know why you don't see it. Um, clear your cookies out of your browser, refresh your browser um, history, go try again or use a different browser because they definitely there.
like you bought it. Yeah, Jacob, that's a very broad statement, and in my mind, it's uh, it's false. Uh, but I'd say, explain 12.1 is selling Microsoft Flight Simulator in a couple of areas, especially with the bloom coming in and the anti-aliasing makes it look incredible. But there are other areas where uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator still has complete edge but the laminar is getting there. Neil, uh, I am doubtful they're going to respond on email. What you need to do is go to the Discord and speak to the guys on Discord. Uh, it's just so much easier and better right, to go and speak to them there. I hate their forum. I think, and I'm, I am speaking about old bad experiences. Um, the last time I needed help, I ended up speaking to Anna directly on Discord because I couldn't handle some of the crap I had to handle, you know, and um, so there's always means and ways of getting their attention, but Discord buddy that's the best way to contact anybody for support in these days forums are busy dying in my opinion one of these days it's gonna just fizzle out look left side you're flying Concord I doubt I'm going to see you let's see if we can see whereby I can spot you there if you are online reload oh whereby is not working whereby is dead can't even check oh uh, well I won't see you at that flight level anyway Sorry, I just read all the comments now. Yeah. Uncle John, how's your flight going? Hey Andrew. Yeah, I love it. This is this is um, really nice. My only issue is that you see, look, depending on how you look, you see, you it looks like we've got a bleed through from auto auto. See that? So you don't always see it, but there are times, and you see, as I zoom in, it goes away. Unfortunately, that's something that guys will have to work on because it looks stupid. I mean, look at that. It's crazy. So you just got to be careful how you look at it. We saw it the other day at Barra Beach Airport as well. You know, depending on how you look at it and where you look, you get bleed through. The problem is now you've got this very small little piece of land that's covered in this beautiful orbex through earth and the rest of the earth you need the orbex ah sorry you need the auto author you know so it's kind of a trade-off now
All right, Scotsman. Uh, well, you did better than me then. BSPS yeah. Issue is still there? I have no FPS issue right now. No, no I'm pushing nice FPS. The FPS issue from last night was severe. It was terrible. You know, you know when you drive down the road and you you forgot your handbrake on. Now look in our fancy new cars, you've got this beep beep beep, and it warns you that the handbrake is on, right? But um, you know, in the old days when you forgot your handbrake on and you got that, you're going, but you're not going. You can feel there's something wrong. That's how it felt like last night. The handbrake was up. Um, yeah. Okay, gentlemen, for those of you having stutter issues on stream and things like that, I just got a warning that YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. That just popped up on my screen. So unfortunately, YouTube is having a bit of a, an issue. Nothing I can do about that. Eh? That's what it looks like on my control panel, see. Users will experience buffering. So I've got a 500 megabit fiber line here and um, we know that there are some cables that are broken going on the west and east of Africa. So, so far it wasn't too bad. This is the first time now that it's actually affecting me. No, I've got zero starters on my explain. The only thing that I have noticed, remember I'm on AMD graphics, okay? And believe it or not, I cannot use the AMD graphics engine in my um, broadcasting at all. Then it's terrible. It is yuck. You'll hate me. It is so pixelated when I try and make videos and stuff when we use the AMD encoding. I'm actually using my motherboard's Intel uh, chip for the actual graphics rendering when I do my streaming and my video recording because otherwise it's so pixelated it's useless I mean it, it kills me so one day when my ship comes I'll go buy myself an Nvidia graphics card again but I'm not I'm not gonna spend 16 17 thousand rand right now on a graphics card I've got other things to do Jacob, there's rumors about flight model changes, okay? Rumors, remember, it's not cast in stone. And I know that both Trickster and Zebo are waiting for it, so, you know, if it's true, it will come, it will have to, there will be changes, but we don't know. I'm not privileged enough to know what that would be. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah, I got some. This um white out when you look at the screen yesterday it was much better today it's kind of bright again um, it's easier looking out that way but this is harsh wow goodbye scotland yep
that's a big seam over there eh? that's probably where we're leaving the territory as Scotsman was alluding to thousand to level off The moment I press the 8 button, it kicks it. I was typing 348 in XL here on the side, Boop, it went. So that's the mate I'm going to hunt when I land. Uh, it's not actually active, it's the audio file that's active. There it's turned slightly. Uh, so if you guys can hear the trim, I can probably just turn it down a little bit. Use it again, audio. Should be gone now. We had it the other evening as well. Trim doesn't really do anything, but the audio gets stuck. So let's load you in minus six and the QNH nine eighty six. Eighty six. Right, we've got one point one to drop, so sixty. Six. We need to go to 2500, I think. Check it. Thank you. 2500. Yes, sir. Uh, 996. A little bit more. 986. There we go. 548. And there I press the 8 button again. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? And then zero five. I'm gonna go find that thing shortly. Jacob, I'm not part of that conversation anymore, so I cannot tell you. I don't know what happened with Sasha and Twixter. Sasha and Twixter are talking with each other, and Twixter in turn with Zebo, so... 
I'm out of that conversation. Yes, Christopher is talking about that. I'm gonna take a quick chance here, just go to keyboard command eight. Search keys eight. So it's not, it's not anywhere in here. I wonder if it's in XP UI PC then. I'm gonna have to go check because It should have given us, let's, let's do this, let's take that out, let's put 8 in, so we know there's only one button, and yet every time I press it, it kicks it out, let's press it now, yep, okay, so it's an external something, there's something external, using the key 8, hmm, that's translating back, to autopilot disconnect. So the only other thing could be XP UI PC. I doubt there's something else that's going to talk back into the sim that do this. Hmm. Okay, I've checked it. This is XP UI PC and I am checking now. That's why it went off again. I don't find it. So there's something else. Well, what on earth could it be? There's something listening to a key 8. Yeah, this is going to need a bit of that Throw magic of uh, process of elimination again. It is, because it's very definitely not in X-Plane, it's not in XP UI PC. So somewhere, one of the apps that's open at this point in time, whether it's visible or not, hmm, that is influencing something, yeah. Huh? Possibly Python? No, I doubt it's a... Uh, definitely not XP realistic. No. Uh, this is going to be something... Something else.
Running right left. We must have some waypoint. You see, Uncle John, remember you're jumping this morning. Look, now I've got it. So we must have one of those weird intersections again that's causing this. As it comes closer, it will obviously sort itself out. But until then, much we can do. You on your way to Pendy? Let me see. Yeah. like somebody's chewing chewing gum and blowing bubbles. Coverage coming in on the um, FDO. I can't hear you, sir. Say again. There's a lot of coverage coming in on the south of Europe. Okay. Ah, my web eye started working again now. Okay, we've got um, ESS ground, sir. Yes, thank you. EGSS ground, sorry.
Uncle John? Yes, sir. My explain just crashed. Sorry, guys. Um, it says there's a problem with the auto auto. Oh. Yeah. In flight, and I'm dead now. Sorry, gentlemen. Sorry, guys watching, ladies and gents. Well, why did you get to? Because I'm a servant. It was the same for me. Um, difficult to say, Uncle John. I'm going to guess it's just above Oxford. Um, but I can't okay. really tell you exactly where. Cause... Okay, I'll keep, I'll keep you informed. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. Damn it. Sorry, everybody. Um, no worry. I don't understand why. It's so stupid. Anyway, okay. I'm going to stop the stream. We'll chat again later. Um, have a good day, everyone, and thank you for watching thus far. Bye, all.